Hello and welcome to World 4 of Super XT Mario World. We are on our way to finishing the 2.0 version of this world. We've already played it a couple of years ago, so a lot of these levels do look familiar from before. But I believe it's starting in World 5 or maybe World 6. It's supposed to be all brand new levels. So, yeah, let's get started with this one. I guess it's supposed to be a beach theme. I don't know. There is a bonus challenge there. It says, don't anger any of the Wigglers. So I'm going to try my darndest to not do that. Yeah, this world is, you know, it's very traditional if you haven't seen it before. It is a very popular world. I'm amazed at the, the amount of plays that it has. It's, yeah, just very popular. I can understand why people would enjoy it as much as they do. Huh, so how are you supposed to get that 10 coin without angering this Wiggler? Can I... Oh god, can I like triple jump my way to it? Or is there something else I can do? Hmm, now that's a challenge. Oh god, I, I think I might actually be able to make that jump. There we go. How, how are you supposed to make it through there without angering any of the Wigglers? That seems next to impossible. This one's already angry. Nothing I can do about him. Hey, I have 41 lives, 41 coins. Not anymore. Yes, it's nut time. Can I not get up there on top of the trees? Man, that blows. All right, there's nothing in any of these pipes. Though that pipe looks very suspicious down there. Maybe it has to do with this pipe up here? There we go. I almost didn't see that pipe because it blended in so well. There we go. 30 coins secured. Yeah, so... Oop, oh, he's already angry, so that's okay. Um, I do like the look of this world. It is very nice looking. There are a lot of nice touches on it. But what I've been remarking throughout is... I wish... There was some more difficulty to this world. Because I feel like I'm just flying through it. And I'll, like, although I don't mind a, a world that... Isn't overly difficult every once in a while... Um... I still wish there was some kind of challenge in this because this is just this is flying by, which is nice, but it's it's a little too easy for me. Level two, musical woods. So yeah, I guess this is like a forest theme then. Like I don't know. All right, so you're challenged to collect ninety coins. I've already lost count of how many we've gotten. I think maybe nine so far. There's another challenge. Beat without spinning in midair. What are what are all of these bonus challenges placed throughout? Like just just stick with one, my friend. All right, well, let's grab some more coins. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me if I've collected 90 or not by the time we're through with this. Okay. Why are all of the tops of the trees blocked off, man? I just want to climb over top of them. Like, you could have made a whole second part up there. Filled with, like, a secret and at the end you get, like, a 30 coin or something like that. Like, let us explore more. Don't just cut us off. 
Anyways, I'm done ranting now. Oh god. <laughs> See, that would have been my karma, would be dying to that. Oopsie. Urgh! See, that, that could have killed me. Because it's blocked off. Dang it! <laughs> I bonked! I bonked when I tried to bink. God dang it. There we go. There we go. Is it possible to get that coin without having an acorn? I don't think it is. Unless there's ground down there, but I don't really want to risk it to find out. There's no sense. And we've hit the end. And we bonked and did not get the top of the flag. Eh, oh well. Yeah, another level. Successfully beaten. This one was fine. It was okay. Let's just move on. Level 3, Autumn Underpass. I've been kind of thinking about this a little bit, and so there are some levels, or like some super worlds that are like, you play through them the first time and you're like, yeah, you know, I, it's, it's really, it's a frustrating experience. Um, like, for example, I was kind of feeling that way with Gamer Louie's world. Not that it was bad by any means, but it was just so difficult at times, and it was just like, like, what, what do you want me to do in these levels and stuff like that? Like, I had a hard time. I found it really confusing. But then, when I went to... Ooh, somehow I saved that. Um, when I had to go back and play the final level again, because I lost that recording, I'm like, you know, this is actually... This is actually really fun the second time, now that I actually know what I'm doing, like... Yeah, it's just, it's really fun to play. Uh-oh, where's their yellow pipe? Maybe there was one back here that I missed? I don't know. Or is it this yellow pipe? No. Is it this yellow pipe? No. Is it a yellow pipe that's up this crevasse? I can't even get up there. Well, now I need to find this yellow pipe. It's going to drive me bananas if I don't. Anyways, yeah, so like I I feel that way sometimes about worlds. I think another example that would be I got kind of frustrated when I was playing Jerio's New World. Okay, I don't know where this yellow pipe is. So let's just go back. Um I felt that way about Jerio's New World when I played it the first time. There were some elements that were just really confusing to me and I think I gave it a a low score as a result. I ended up replaying it and I'm like, this is actually pretty good. And a lot levels were a lot of the levels were better than I gave them credit for the first time. And I was just getting frustrated because when I was playing through it initially, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Or like some of the things were just too challenging, you know, stuff like that, like elements that would be well suited for like a a level that would be later on were like in level one and they were just way too difficult and Jerios has a ton of cool ideas but sometimes they're just too difficult for their own good but anyways why am i going on this rant well how are you supposed to get that 50 coin oh there's a. Uh... oh i see there we go noise um Nice, top of the flag. Yeah, so I have those experiences where I find that they're very frustrating and I give them a low rating as a result, but I go back and play them and they're actually really cool now that I actually know what to do. The whole point of this is I feel like this world is having the complete opposite effect on me. Level 4, Rotten Harvest. So what I mean by this level having the opposite effect, I'm just finding it way too easy and... 
way too casual to to enjoy it like not okay i don't mean to say that i'm not enjoying it because i am but it's just you know it's i'm honestly i don't know if i'm going to remember it in the future like it's just there's there there are no elements that stand out like it looks very nice I guess maybe the bosses, I would say, are a highlight because they are kind of unique, even though a lot of them are just kind of repeats of things that I have seen before. Let me bring those over there and then do that. There we go. Um, oh, I didn't even see the Goomba there. But then there are other things like, why are the tops of the trees blocked off? Like, that'd be a perfect way to explore. Like, why is the top of that blocked off? Like, just let me jump freely. Don't. <laughs> don't put hidden blocks there they're pointless there's just i don't know there's some things that i don't necessarily enjoy or i wish i enjoyed a little bit more god dang it But yeah, that being said, like, I, I am still enjoying this world. Don't get me wrong. It's just some things I wish were different. That's all. A lot of people having a lot of difficulty with this level. I mean, I died once to my own stupidity. See, again, like, why is that blocked off? That's like a perfect opportunity to explore and put a, a hidden pipe to a 30 coin, for example, or even just a 30 coin in general. But instead, it's just blocked off with invisible blocks. And it's, I don't know, it just seems, seems like a missed opportunity to me. But then what do I know? Like, this world is obviously very popular. There are, like, tens of thousands of plays and likes on each of these levels, so... Don't listen to anything that I'm saying, because I am clearly... I feel like maybe this is more for a casual player, and I feel like maybe I'm a bit more than a casual player. I lean more towards, like, the expert and the difficult category. I wouldn't say I'm a super expert level player at all, like, I'm not that good. Far from it, actually. But, yeah. I don't know, it's just just my general thoughts on this world in general. Uh-oh, doofus comment. Someone's mad. Oh, get rid of a mushroom. Or got rid of a mushroom? All that for a coin? Dude, come on. <laughs> get lost. Why is there auto-scroll? That's a great question. See, and now here I can explore. So, I thought that pipe would have something. Why did a mushroom have to come out? Well, at least I got the 30 coin this time. There's another mushroom. Meh. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it keep going. And then just grab it. Damage boost my way through, because why the heck not? Aw, oh, crap. Darn you, Goomba. Just waiting for another mushroom to pop out somewhere. You know it's gonna happen. Wait. How are you supposed to get that? Is there ground down? Oh, there it. No, there is no ground. Am I supposed to get an acorn from somewhere? Yeah, I have zero clue about how you're supposed to get that 50 coin. Like, even I got the... Uh, I hit that block that would hopefully be like a progressive power-up, and it wasn't. It was just a... Uh, crap. It was just a uh, another mushroom, which you know, fair enough. But I don't understand how you're supposed to get it unless you can get an acorn from somewhere, or just something, or damage boost. Other than that, I have zero clue. How do you want me to get the top of the flag again, unless you have a uh, an acorn, which I guess I missed that opportunity somewhere. Yeah, this level was fine. Actually, it was probably maybe the best one of this World 4 so far. Oh! Okay, this is a new one. Fair enough. See, I had no idea. Yeah, just like the other ones, it was, it was pretty well done. Good job.
All right, it's castle time. Autumnal Armory. This isn't autumnal at all. Where are all the leaves? Bonus challenge, don't collect any coins. All right. I prefer... Does that count? You know what? Screw the bonus challenges. Bonus challenge. Leave a comment telling the bonus challenge user to stop. <laughs> oh, crap. God dang it. <laughs> oh man, that that made me laugh. Oops, well I grabbed a coin already. So much for that bonus challenge. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. If If you want to make bonus challenges, just make clear condition levels like you know, otherwise <laughs> what's the point? Unless you're just, you're like intentionally trying to make it easier for the player. Like trying to make these levels intentionally accessible to every player. But for like the super expert players, give them a challenge. Like, no, just make a super expert world. I don't know why. I'm feeling really salty towards this world in general today. Maybe I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. I feel like I'm just full of sass. And you know what you can't spell sass without? A-S-S. -S. And maybe that's how I'm acting right now, I don't know. I mean, I'm just giving my genuine feelings. Alright, another auto-scroll. But yeah, like, if the challenges don't collect coins, just don't put coins in your level. I just, I, I don't under, I don't understand. I felt like Porky Pig there for a second. Evidy, 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 that's all, folks. Whoops. I didn't know what was coming, so I guess I could have just been patient, but... Patience is not in my vocabulary, my friends. Not today. Yeah, take that, dry bones. Can we at least make it go faster? Like, this is going a little too slow for my liking. Another single coin. Yay, extra life. Even though I really want another nut, but other than that. There's the 50. There's no way to get that unless you're damage boosting. Oh, I wanted to read that comment. Let me let me read those comments before we go in. Creator keeps ruining good castles with the worst bosses imaginable. Oh, there's a penis. We found a penis, my friends. And let me see. Let me guess. Castles are ruined because the bosses are hard. Skill issue. I think the bosses are the best part of this world, honestly. I also appreciate the fact that this uh, isn't an on-off switch and it's switching direction on me. Or switching... Yeah, direction. That's... Totally what I what I meant. Aw, oh, crap I missed. Oh my god, I missed again. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a strikeout, my friends. I struck out on this boss. There we go. I'm so frustrated. How do I keep missing that one? Holy crap. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Why do people watch these videos? Oh my god, there we go. And now I jump on here. 
Wow. Literally got spiked right in the face as a thank you for defeating the boss. BJ! See ya, BJ. Well, anyways, that is going to do it for World 4. So, let me know what you think about this world in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I didn't mean to be so salty in this level, but honestly, like, the bosses, I do really enjoy. They are a genuine challenge. Um, anyways, we're going to check out World 5 next time, but until then, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.